Hey guys, it's Thantos here. We're back for some Star Trek Online. Today we're doing something a bit different. As, as those that play the game know, um, I've already done the recent, most recent featured episode, so I got lots of stuff to do. And since Cryptic uh, can only put out a new episode once, what, every three months at this point, instead of doing arcs, Cryptic, I'm looking at you. Give us arcs again, not this repeat the same episode for four weeks in a row. We're going to do stuff created by you guys, the fans, and players of the game. We're going to be looking at the Foundry. Now, unlike my uh, featured episode playthroughs, which are blind playthroughs, these I've actually played through at least once, so I know if they're worth doing this recording and doing a playthrough on because there's a lot in here that aren't worth it so today I found I found an interesting one that I played through last night we're gonna be looking at the depths of Nukara Prime by P underscore Sutherland this is a spotlight mission and qualifies for standard foundry rewards you have already received an additional reward for completing a spotlight mission today I will become eligible again in nine hours and 18 minutes thank you cryptic Okay, just a bit. Civilian traffic near the Eta Arundi neutral zone has been ca caught in a violent in the violent clashes with the Tholian assembly in the Nukara system. When the crew of a freighter are forced to abandon ship, their only choice for survival means entering Nukara Prime's atmosphere. Would you expect someone to survive in a Y class a class Y environment? If they have a hazard, if uh, they have an EV suit, maybe. This mission begins in the Derzana system of the something something sector block. This mission was submitted to the Foundry Challenge number six. Apparently, it's got some good ratings, so let's get started. Now, unlike the featured episodes which are voice acted, these aren't, so I'm probably going to read out the text chat, and I'm going to be exploring all the options. So, yeah. If you don't like that, click off the video now and go watch someone else. I am not a voice actor, so I'm not even going to attempt to. Let's see, Fleet Admiral, we're receiving a distress call from an unknown source somewhere inside this Eta Arande's, I don't know if I'm saying that right, sector. The unknown vessel is transmitting on an open frequency, putting it on screen, except. And I randomly stood up. This is Captain weapon of the Federation merchant vessel Loli. Loli. I don't know. I I butcher words so easily. We've come under attack from the Tholian forces in the Nukara system. We require immediate assistance. Our engines and weapons are offline. Yes, you, unknown vessel. We require assistance. We're caught in Nukara Primes. Uh. This is Subcommander P Pelagia of the AMS Be Behemoth. We're unable to get a transporter lock on your crew. Interference from the planet is preventing us from locking onto your crew. Proceed to your escape pods and program them to land at these coordinates. We have a science team on the surface who will help you from there. As for the Tholians, we'll be in weapons range in one minute. Commander, Nukara Prime is a class Y planet. We don't have any EV suits on board. We'll be dead the moment we enter the planet's atmosphere. Please, I have 205 people on board this ship. Please or find a way of saving us. Uh, dot, dot, dot. I wish I could, but we can't get to you in time. Set your escape pods to land at the following coordinates. If your pods can reach this area, you will find you won't need environmental suits. Stolen cruisers have broken off to intercept us. Race shields, ready weapons. We'll put a channel to that ship. I'm unable to establish communications, Fleet Admiral. Latest reports from the Nukara system show the Feder. Federation Klingon Empire and Tholian Assembly to be in heavy combat. Not anymore, it's kind of abandoned. I suggest we head to the Zonda system, then head to the Nakara system via civilian trade lines. For whatever reason, the Tholians and Klingons appear to be ignoring the civilian traffic lines. Sir, incoming message from Admiral Parax. I'm guessing this is set before the Bur Borg incursion which prompted peace talks to resume with the Klingons. And then the 4200 story arc happened. 
Fleet Admiral, I'm assembling at Starbase. I'm currently at Starbase K7, assembling a task force for entering the Nukara system. Given the Tholium's extreme territorial attitude for the demon world, I suggest there is more to this planet than meets the eye. My task force will keep the Tholium patrol ships occupied while you and your crew slip into the outer system using civilian trade routes. I want you to find the. Sump. Luli. Uh, and help in whatever way possible. Editors on the system of the something something sector block. Understood, Admiral. Alright. Well, let's sit back down. Nope, I have to be standing for this. Leave ship interior. So, let's get this uh, mission started. Wait for it. I'm already at Trizana. With these founder reviews, I'm going to pre-position myself at the start point. And if it's an oddball location, I'll show you where on the map, but it's Drazana. If you don't know where Drazana is, and you play this game, yeah. Considering it's within the first five missions that you do, you end up here. We're coming into the traffic lanes. There are several civilian ships on route to Otha, Nukara 5, and K7. The only vessels in the area appear to be ignoring them. Ignoring ships that pass through the Nukara system. We set course for Otha, but drop out of warp as we're about to pass Nukara Prime. The Tholian patrols deeper in the system should, with any luck, ignore us. At least until they stop. We've they realize we stopped over our uh, over their prize world. Warp to Nukara Prime. Ah, crap. Did I reset the difficulty? I was doing some uh cryptic missions on uh what is it advanced I don't think I reset my difficulty to back to normal on foundry missions most of the authors recommend you play on normal difficulty so that's what I'm gonna do um yeah so what and now we're gonna have an infinite load screen um I'm gonna warn you in advance if there's random cuts in the video for some reason, anytime I do these foundry missions, I just randomly get disconnected. So if there's random cuts in my dialogue or stuff, it's because it went to the login screen. Yeah. And rather than make you sit through doing all that... Oh, here we go. Yeah. I forgot to reset my difficulty. Well, we're doing this on advanced. Sensors are reading the Lily. She's adrift and heavily damaged. Long range sensors show no life signs on board. We need to get closer to so I can run a few run a more detailed scan. Radiation from the planet is interfering with our long range scans. There are also several Tholian cruisers ahead of us. They're targeting us. They've changed their course to intercept us. In addition, there have been numerous reports of ships from the Mary universe being pulled into our universe from the destruction of the Tholian's reactor core. Eliminate the Tholian cruisers. Okay. Let's get my fighters out. And go say hi to some Tholians. Oh, hey, an Orc Weaver. Um, I don't know if you guys can still hear me. Because I... Well, I changed my audio levels after that last featured episode. Change my mic setting and the in-game volume to almost negligible, so you won't hear much of the in-game volume anymore. Um, I left the voice and uh, cutscene, or the voice acted parts and the cutscenes volumes alone, but this is a foundry mission, so there won't be any of those. Okay, and you're dead. Okay, Mr. Oh, there you are. So, yeah. 
these these reviews are something I've been playing for a while. It, or well, I wouldn't exactly call them reviews. They're just me playing them through, giving my thoughts on stuff. I guess you could call them reviews. Right. Hang on. I hate these web nodes. Thank you. Uh, but what was I saying? Oh, right. Um, I've been planning to do this for a while. Huh. Okay. But I just never bothered to actually sit down and do it. But I'm doing it now. This is just so... This is just for mainly my benefit. It's just something to keep me interested in playing the game. I mean... That hurt. I mean, I've got other games I play. Um... Oh, hey. Nice. But, yeah. Some, I just... Ah, here we go. Unidentified, uh, the unidentified vessel. You are in proximity to a Tholian character. Carrier. Dear God, I am reading weird words weird today. The vessel is moving into transporter range of Nukara Prime. The vessel is transporting thousands of Tholian shock troopers. If they are able to deploy, it will halt both Federation and Eskar missions on the surface world. Destroy the Tholian carrier. But yeah, as I was saying, um, yeah, something I want to do. Oh, as for other games, yeah, I've got some. It's just, these have a, these stow missions have a set stop, start and end point. I won't just go on for hours. Like, I tried my hand at Minecraft, some of my first videos, Terraria. Thing is, games like that, they're no fun unless you got someone to play with. And the people I have that play the games are not the type to do uh, recording sessions with. They just prefer not to. So, yeah. You know what? Screw this. See what I got. Take items. Minor components. Ooh, hey. That'll fetch a pretty penny. Scan the ship. Let's recall my fighters. Excellent. Without further ground support, they'll be, we'll be able to extract the artifacts without intervention. Continue. Um, before I continue, I will say that playing this through, there are several dialogue options that are available. On choices like that, I'm going to select how my character would do it. And I've changed my character's backstory right now, and the one I'm kind of sort of sticking with, she's a Terran defector. Fleet Admiral, sensors are reading no survivors on board the ship. Several of our escape capsules have been launched, although I'm not detecting them anywhere on the surface. Where are they then? Admiral, unknown ship decloaking. Ready weapons. I really hate when they do that. A A M S Behemoth. Eh, looks about the same size. Talk to it. This is Sub Commander Pelagia of the Askar Dreadnought Behemoth. You are interfering with our assignment in the system. Withdraw and we'll rescue your people from the surface of Nukara Prime. Nukara Prime is a classified planet. If they're on the surface, they're dead. Well, some might be alive if the escape pods l landed within our atmosphere bubble. That's assuming they weren't killed on impact. Atmospheric bubble. It's kind of like a force field. Think of it like a force field. We use them to explore hazardous gaseous environments. 
The bubble itself is two miles in diameter. Oh, error! They used a metric system in the Star Trek universe. It protects our weight. Well, then again. This species may use the Imperial system. It protects our away teams from the natural elements of a planet. Once the bubble is operational, we transport in several oxygen nitrogen generators. After an hour of pumping breathable air into the surrounding, it's more or less safe to transport people in to the surface. In this particular case, the bubble is being used 10 miles beneath the surface. Not being in direct contact with the atmosphere of the planet, the generator is able to adapt the elements quicker. Why is your species here? My race comes from beyond the Xanus Expanse. We've come a long way to study some artifacts of a dead race in the underworld of this planet. We intend to liberate one of our colleagues from the Tholian prison as well. If we had known this location was the site of a war zone between the Klingon Empire, Tholian Assembly, and the Federation, we would have brought more ships with us. Well then, I think we can benefit from helping each other. Yeah, perhaps. Sensors show that three of the 20 escape pods might have ended up, up within our bubble. What'd they say? 10 miles below the surface? Yeah, um... Yeah... Or beneath the surface? I don't know. I regret to inform you that others... The others have been destroyed upon impacting the surface. I assume you're going in to rescue the survivors. If so, transport yourself over to our ship. We'll be able to direct, transport you directly into the bubble. Time is of the essence. We need to rescue the survivors before they vaporize. Okay. Whatever they've got on the surface is blocking us from getting a transporter signal through. Our sensors are only detecting high levels of sulfur and thermiotic radiation. If we're going to rescue the survivors, it'll need to be through the Ascars the ass cards transporter systems okay let's go understood prepare to receive my officers our shields are offline transport okay let's go as for the quality of this video I don't know if it's gonna be better or worse than my uh, regular ones I'm using Fraps this time instead of XSplit, which I normally use, just because of the recording size. Because Fraps seems to make massive, massive files. So, yeah. As for doing these reviews, if you watch this NRA Foundry Creator, you want me to take a look at it? Hey, hit me a message in game. Ain't I'm not that hard to find. Commander Pelagia said that she would discuss the details of the escape pods with us. I suggest we head to the command deck. Every minute up here could mean life and death for the people down there. Well, considering uh, time seems to stand still during these away missions. Oh, hey. Talk to the lieutenant, lieutenant. That person. Do you hear me, Ensign? I'm rerouting power through junction D1 to G4. We should be able to generate a destructive yield roughly four, of uh, roughly 74% more than normal. That should be more than satisfi satisfactory to destroy Nakara. Shout any louder, she might hear ya. Uh. uh, it's over here. Oh, hey. And interact. Okay. Image Athena, pure blooded female Ascar. In human mythology, the sirens, later known as Ascar, were dangerous and devious creatures who lured nearby sailors with their enchanting music and voices to sh the shipwreck on on rock on the rocky coast of their island humans lured to the island were brought back to the Ascar 
where the human Ascar hybrids were created. Okay, we're just going to back away. See? I do like the fact that they used uh, all good things and TOS style uniforms. I'm still trying to identify this one. I think it's Klingon. Yeah, I think that's Klingon mix, but I'm not sure. But clearly see that this is male. That is male. You'll see some you'll see why I bring this up later. Let's interact with this. Select file. Athena. Athena was the first Ascar to lead both the Ascari government and armed forces. Considered the goddess of war, Athena led the Ascar through the sky, skies of their world, bringing life to colony worlds by the Ascar. The Ascar capital of Athena is named after her. Hmm, sounds familiar. Sounds familiar, like another MMO I used to play. In recent years, the death of the Ask, with the death of the Ascar Republic and the rise of the Ascar Empire. Athena has been portrayed as a master of strategy, skill, deception, and warfare. At age 153, Athena mysteriously disappeared. A scroll found in Athena's home which said, My time with you, my children, is over. It is time for me to ascend to greatness. Fear not, I shall re return when needed. Okay. This person. Arachanine was Athena's top military advisor. Second, only to Athena, what's her name, became uh, corrupt with ideas of power. A master of deception, Arachnine, on several occasions attempted to have Athena killed. The most notable incident was when Arachnine became obsessed with the uh, Tholian embassy. And if you're the creator of this, I do apologize if I'm butchering these names. Seeing the Tholians as a superior species, Arachnine and the Tholians came to an agreement. If the Tholians helped her kill Athena, the Tholians would be given five systems that the Ascar had colonized. Incapable of functioning in the Tholian in the Tholian required environment, Arcanine was unable to direct the Tholian fleet personally. Unprepared for the Ascar retaliation, the Tholian ships were destroyed, presumably killing Arcanine in the process. Return. The Hive War. The Hive War was a short conflict between the Ascar Republic and the Tholian Assembly. During the war, numerous skirm there were numerous skirmishes between vessels. <clears throat> Excuse me. There were two major engagements that decided the final outcome: the Battle of Ascar Prime. Dear God, not the self. Chocolate chip cookies and root beer do not mix well. The first major engagement was fought over. The Ascar homeworld. Arcanine and, se and seven Tholian ships infiltrated their way into the heart of the Ascar system. Overconfident, Arcanine ordered the plasma bombardment of the cap of the city of Athena by the Tholians. Outraged at the jeff of thousands of civilians, Athena's flagship caught the Tholian attackers off guard. Five were destroyed before Athena ordered her last two ships to withdraw, damaged and unable to go to war. War, Athena had the last two ships destroyed, presumably killing Arcanine. Dribble. Battle of Raskar 5. The second engagement was fought in the Raskar system between Athena and Commander Shakal. Both sides agreed to return to their space, thus ending the war. Okay. Talk to medical officer. Interesting. It appears that the disease that infects the Ascar race is not located within any females of the race. That suggests the virus is only located within their home system with the male population. Okay. Well, let's go this way. Alt. Before entering the war room, you're required to submit to a scan. What for? Do you honestly think I'd start shooting up your ship? If the positions were reversed, I would if the positions were reversed. Yeah, um... Just a simple scan of the weapons you are carrying. 
Once we got the details, you'll be free to pass. Submit to a scan. Oh, all right. <laughs> nice little animation trigger. Uh, ooh, several interactable items. All right, let's start and work our way around. Interact. Report for Commander Pro of the Ninth Fleet. Read report. <clears throat> Military log. Commander Pro reporting. Construction of the IAS Typhoon is proceeding as planned. Our engineers expect the ship to be ready for field testing within the next two weeks. I made a list of systems that require of what systems have been improved by joint construct by the joint constructions. Project IAS Typhoon. Vessel class Typhoon class. Commander Captain Barkley. No, not that Barkley. Different Barkley. Weapon systems. Yeah. So yeah, weapon shields, yada 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 yada. So their their maneuverability is unchanged, but they've increased their shields and weaponry. Okay. What's this? Commander Thesco's personal terminal. Recent logs. Nukara journey. It has been 59 cycles. It's taken 59 cycles to reach the Nukara system. One more cycle and we'll be within range of our. to begin our mission. Long range scans recorded what we believe to be the Iconian ship responsible for attacking one of our medical stations. It appears to be following a freighter from the, one of the local powers in the region of space. Commander Prin left for Nukara Prime on board a Tholian vessel we captured. Her last message indicated she found something of importance, but with the loss of communications, we assume she has been captured by the Tholians. My mission to rescue Prin captured this artifact. You misspelled artifact. If possible, and if possible, recover the Tholian cruiser. Return. Belisia. Okay, 13 cycles into this mission, I took Belisia into the holodeck last night. While she is a superb scientist and second officer, she makes a poor soldier. I need to shape her into the perfect military combatant by whatever means necessary. That said, she, under she understands the art of seduction in warfare. The art of seduction is just as powerful as any weapon. The Borg. Lady and I came up with an idea last night regarding the Borg Collective. The Borg Collective, from reports from various governments, is a race of gen genetic abominations. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. They take races that will either improve or add technological advances to advantage to their own. With the amount of species they've assimilated, they must have a library worth of medical information. To my knowledge, the Ascot Republic has yet to encounter a Borg vessel. Yeah, um, good luck. The Borg are very good at adapting. But if we could harness the knowledge of the Borg, we could, could advance several decades over a few weeks. We'll continue to develop a plan to harness the knowledge of the Borg. Okay. Moving on. Talk to Subcommander. <laughs> Interesting. So the Klingon Empire and the Federation are fighting over the current and the other systems. Seems like a waste of time. If you ask me... They should direct their attacks against each other's star bases, remove them, and not major logistical problems. How'd you get that information? From a Federation ship we found in a box. Shots fired. <laughs> Ooh. Sorry about that. Okay. I felt that one. Sorry, I just... Rotated my neck and felt a pop. Uh, shots fired indeed. Interact! Classroom report from Field Commander Euro, Home Fleet. Read report. If this report has reached the Fourth Fleet, then it is imperative you do not return to Aska. There have been numerous orders given out recently which have raised concerns among myself and other ship commanders. Upon the return of my executive officer today, I notice. She has returned with some. She had something sticking out of the back of her neck. Huh. That sounds familiar. There are, 
been other incidents. The military station above Cecil 3 was abandoned without power f for five days. That base is our main strategic point in the Dabo system. Until I can confirm how widespread this infection is, all fleets are advised not to return to the home world until further notice. The capital of the Empire has been moved to Tanda 2. You're all out. Okay. By the way, I'm not hitting that one because that's how I'll advance the storyline. Talk to the engineer. Yes, I can hear you, Lieutenant. The main cannon is charged. Should we need it, we can obliterate uh, the Nukar dig site. Your superior has a loud voice. Interact. News report on the Klesso Kingdom. This is Tu here, bringing you an update on the Klesso Kingdom. With the subjugation of the Klesso complete, many of you are asking, what benefits do they bring with the Empire? With the military, while the military remains unsure, attached to this broadcast is a poll of what you think should be done. View poll. Average Klesso female, please subject. Subjugation. Klesso will be used throughout the Empire as slaves. Extermination. Eskar Force Fleet will go on a hunt to exterminate every Klesso life form. Freedom. Dismantle their ships and leave them alone. Well, let's see. Role playing as a person from the Terran universe, I would say subjugation. Poll results. Subjugation. Wow, that seems to be popular. 11,252,734,987 votes for subjugation. <coughs> Extermination. 2,374,123,865. One vote for freedom. Share your opinion now. Drexel. Sub Commander. The Cheslo killed my sister. They all deserve death. Oila is civilian. Leave the Klesso lo Cheslo alone. Leave them alone. Leave them alone. Dark Arts 63. Sub Lieutenant. I want a pink slave. Thigh 82. Civilian. We have blue slaves. We need pink slaves. See, Terrazon. Ensign. People, seriously, we could use them to feed our starving colonies in the Pakak Cluster. No resource goes to waste after all. Send me or does that sound like they want to commit acts of cannibalism? Moving on. Re, in response to Aloy, Yamo, Ensign, traitor. I'm going to walk away from that now. Oh, and about that poll, if, like, you chose freedom, it would show two votes instead of just one. I chose that option on my uh, initial playthrough. Oh, hey, I missed somebody. Green, the bubble is operating at 92% efficiency. Oxygen generators are operating at 87%. When team, the teams are done in caverns 12, 685, and 173 have the oxygen tanks transported to cavern 223 okay where are you going eh. talk to commander welcome to the behemoth we've got several minutes before we can get another safe transport through the planetary radiation is there something you would like to know or are you ready to suit up uh the escar what my character where do the Ascar come from as I said, we came from roughly 150 light years past the Xenus Expanse. It took us two months to reach this pl planet. Avoiding the Cardassians, Federation, and Borg was no easy task. You have a bloody cloak! If we had known you were in possession of a transwarp gate, we could have come through that. Regardless, our empire expands to nearly a thousand light years. My homeworld is called Lax. Lacus. However, most of it referred to as Ascar Prime. The Ascar Empire is the dominant power in our cluster. We've crushed all neighboring powers and enslaved them. Interesting. What about these green aliens? If your species is called the Ascar, who are the green aliens? 
Them. We're called the Fleur. We are the only cap the only species to join the Ascar through diplomacy rather than conquest. My race prefers aquatic environments, hence why you may have felt a liquid vapor upon beaming over. We can breathe oxygen from both air and ocean, which makes us the perfect candidates for the Eskar Naval Division. Our homeworld, Skara, Sakra, is 94% oceanic, so you're a bipedal fish. Escape pods. Have you found any of our escape pods yet? Let's just say I've met you before, so to speak. Some of your escape pods have managed to work their way into our general area. Even land One even landed 30 meters from our mission objective. We saw several people get out and run as we tried to help them. Fleet Admiral, I am on an important mission for my people. As much as it would be a pleasure to help our Federation friends, I have a limited time before our generator shut down. Okay. Dakar Prime. What do you know of Nakar Prime? The Nakar Prime is the site of recent Tholian incursion into Federation space. We believe the Tholian picked this location to harbor one of the vessels from the other side. Though how long we've had that, they've had that vessel is wide open to speculation. I was there, and yes, we're playing. I have, I was there when this when the Nakar Prime uh, first came out. I didn't know the Federation had previous dealings with the Tholians. We suspect them to be one of the last va to be one vast empire spread out among hundreds, if not thousands, of universes. By your calendar, in 2078, we found a damaged Ascar vessel from over 300 years in the future. The logs from the ship suggest they fell in victim to a doorway in space and time while traveling to. A Avoid something the commander referred to as the demon of air and space. Or air and darkness. Gee, that sounds familiar. So you're here to study these artifacts. Yes. Male Askar. Where are the Askar men? Males of my race are prohibited from joining the navy or army. The best task suited for them, shall we say, is for the survival of our race. Other than that, everything... Other than that, everything you want to know is classified. Okay. I want to try something. Eh. Interesting. That'll be all. We need to get down there. I got 40 minutes left on the bubble. I'll tell our friends yeah, the, uh, that they've got that long to rescue the survivors. If they don't, they'll either be vaporized, be eaten, or suffocate. Well, we need to get going then. Okay. Ow. Mmm. <clears throat> Sorry. You'll be entering an area and that until two hours ago would have boiled you alive. There are a number of oxygen and cryo generators on the surface. However, if your species is uncomfortable beaming down, then I recommend wearing an EV suit. I think I'll stick with my armor. Even though you won't need it, that and it restricts your movement. Yeah, it does. I recommend you speak to our ship's doctor and have her give you an injection of brand T2. It'll provide additional protection from the thermionic radiation. Locate the doctor and have her inject you with a dose of T2. Okay. Oh, well, let's go. I'm going to assume it's back here in the medical area. Yep. Dr. Zoni. Zion. Can I help you? I'm going to the surface to find survivors of a crashed ship. I'm here for a, a T2 injection. Okay. I see. I don't know how it'll work on your race, but T2... But the T2 sample is used by the Escar Science Division to prevent us from inhaling any toxic gases... ...of Zeba 5. The device itself is a small injection placed in the nostrils of the user. The device then prevents any hazardous toxins from entering the person's system. Every fleur... That's a typo. Because... Yeah, that's a typo. The, um... Apostrophe is moved. 
If every floor, for example, has one, they can't breathe in several of the gases located on our home world. The device then blocks out the toxins, only allowing in what they can breathe. It's a remarkable device. Shame it only works in less than two percent. It only works in a less than two percent environment. Every little help, every little help, but every little helps when on a surface of a class Y planet. Okay, go ahead. Dinic Sir Carrington here, Fleet Admiral. You've got 39 minutes until the atmospheric bubble fails. I've been able to locate all three down to escape pods. You can transport to the first one whenever you're ready. Okay, let's go.